When it comes to the world of manned spaceflight, Boeing's costly attempt to challenge SpaceX is on the brink of failure. Since securing a $4.2 billion NASA contract in 2014, Boeing has suffered losses of $900 million and faced severe delays. Their once promising program for human spaceflight has been plagued by delays and setbacks, starting with the failed test flight in 2019. After a long wait, an unmanned Starliner finally managed to dock with the International Space Station. However, Boeing's plans for the Starliner launch in July 2023 seem to be in jeopardy. Today, we take a look at how SpaceX, under the leadership of Elon Musk, reshapes the space race. Let's begin. Boeing recently made an announcement that has left the space exploration community buzzing with anticipation and concern. The aerospace giant revealed that its highly anticipated mission to send the Starliner spacecraft with the crew to the International Space Station ISS in July will be delayed. The reason behind the setback? Problems with the parachute system and a potential fire risk associated with the spacecraft's wiring. The decision to delay the mission was driven by safety concerns, according to Mark Nappy, the program manager for the Boeing Starliner. While prioritizing safety is commendable, the future remains uncertain for Boeing as it grapples with the question of when it will be able to carry out the crew flight test mission, which marks the Starliner's first manned test flight. Nappy avoided directly addressing whether Boeing has considered scrapping the Starliner program altogether. However, the lack of a definite timeline for the program's restart has already attracted vulturous speculation. In fact, The Hill published an opinion piece questioning whether it's time to cancel the Boeing Starliner, deeming the program snake bit after its initial test flight failure, followed by a barely successful second attempt, and now the indefinite postponement of its third mission. Space policy writer Mark Whittington points out that if Boeing had proceeded with the July test flight as planned, either of the identified issues could have resulted in a catastrophic outcome. The consequences of these setbacks extend beyond safety concerns as they have also taken a toll on Boeing's stock which has already been struggling. Moreover, due to the relatively short duration of the Starliner program, it's unlikely that Boeing will have sufficient time to recover costs and turn a profit. In contrast, SpaceX, Boeing's main competitor, has been soaring to new heights with its Crew Dragon program, successfully completing NASA missions. NASA recognized SpaceX's achievements by increasing its commercial crew contracts from 6 to 9 missions in 2021 and even granting them 5 more missions in 2022. This has left Boeing in a precarious position as they have fallen behind in the race for NASA contracts. Even if Boeing manages to resolve the issues with the Starliner and fulfill the original six contract admissions, the chances of securing additional contracts are slim. NASA has already awarded all the crew flights it will ever need, including potential missions to commercial space stations after the retirement of the ISS in 2030. The opportunity for Boeing to utilize the Starliner in the future hinges on multiple uncertain factors such as the success of the space station consortium's efforts to construct a successor space station. Boeing and its investors must bear full responsibility for the hazards and losses associated with the Starliner program. With a set price for the project, any further breakdowns or delays could push Boeing's losses well beyond the billion dollar mark. In the rapidly evolving landscape of space exploration, competition between Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and SpaceX has dramatically lowered the cost of space launches in just three years. As we look ahead, the second phase of the National Security Space Launch Program, NSSL2, has commenced. Although the specifics are still being worked out, the Space Force has allocated billions of dollars for rocket launch contracts. Interestingly, in 2020, SpaceX and United Launch Alliance, a joint venture between Boeing and Lockheed Martin, were the only companies awarded contracts under the program. This leaves Boeing in a tough spot as the Space Force finalizes the allocation of launch contracts for the NSSL-2 with the potential for up to 40 missions. These recent contract awards in the space industry have caught the attention of many, and what's particularly fascinating about them goes beyond the fancy mission names. Let's delve into the details and discover why it matters. When the National Security Space Launch Program NSSL, was initially introduced, we highlighted the significant cost savings it brought compared to previous contracts. 
In the past, rocket launches were averaging around $400 million for United Launch Alliance ULA, but the introduction of SpaceX, selling launches for considerably less, forced ULA to lower prices and operate more efficiently. This movement continues to make waves, with recent reports revealing that the Space Force will spend less than $1.2 billion for 12 launches, resulting in an average cost of under $100 million per launch. Looking closer, we see that SpaceX will earn $541 million for its six launch flights, which amounts to a little over $90 million per launch. On the other hand, ULA will receive $633 million for its launches, averaging $105.5 million per rocket flight. Although it may seem unfair to SpaceX, it's important to note that ULA's missions involve more complex and unique orbits, justifying the higher price tag. What's truly remarkable about this situation is the long-term impact it has on the cost of space launches. The cost reduction of at least 50% is a significant achievement, and the Space Force deserves praise for temporarily paying ULA more than necessary to keep the company operating and maintain healthy competition between the launch providers. This strategy has been tremendously successful in bringing down the overall cost of space launches, benefiting taxpayers in the process. Additionally, there's promising news on the horizon. ULA's new Vulcan Centaur rocket has managed to reduce launch costs to as low as $100 to $120 million according to early statistics. Although Vulcan hasn't conducted a successful launch yet, these cost projections, if achieved, would be a game changer. This development is fantastic news for taxpayers, as the introduction of SpaceX as a price competitor has already resulted in a 75% cost reduction in less than a decade. The potential billions of dollars in savings for taxpayers are undoubtedly impressive. While these changes hold promise for taxpayers, they also have repercussions for the profit margins of Boeing and Lockheed Martin, the owners of ULA. Lockheed Space Division has seen its profit margins decline from 12.6% in 2015 to 9.4% in 2020 and further down to 8.8% last year. Boeing Space Division, though more challenging to analyze due to its consolidation under the Defense Space and Security Division, has experienced a drop in profit margins from 9.8% in 2015 to 5.9% in 2020 with operational losses in 2022. Ultimately, these dynamics present potential challenges for investors in these aerospace companies. While the news is positive for taxpayers, it may not be as favorable for investors in Lockheed or Boeing. So, anyone considering investing in these firms should proceed with caution. Now, let's shift our focus to SpaceX's remarkable achievements in the world of space technology. SpaceX, founded by Elon Musk in 2002, has reshaped the space transportation and aerospace industries. Their main goal is to reduce space transportation costs and lay the groundwork for colonizing Mars. With a relentless pursuit of innovation and sustainability, SpaceX has revolutionized space travel and captured the imagination of people worldwide. At this stage, let's take a closer look at some of SpaceX's groundbreaking rockets and spacecraft that have propelled them to the forefront of space exploration. Falcon 1 was SpaceX's first privately developed liquid-fueled rocket. Standing at 68 feet tall and 5.5 feet in diameter, it may seem modest compared to its successors, but it made history by becoming the first privately developed rocket to orbit the Earth. Falcon 1 had a cargo capacity of up to 1,010 pounds and utilized a single Merlin IC engine. Though it faced challenges in its early missions, including engine and fuel problems, it reached a pivotal moment in September 2008 when it successfully launched a cargo mass simulator into orbit. This marked a turning point for SpaceX and the commercial space sector. Falcon 1 demonstrated that private enterprises could make a significant impact in space exploration, showing that the industry's future wasn't solely in the hands of government organizations. Building on the success of Falcon 1, SpaceX introduced the Falcon 9 rocket. This two-stage reusable rocket became their workhouse for various missions, including satellite launches and transportation to the International Space Station ISS. The Falcon 9's booster stage, which lifts the second stage to a specific altitude before releasing it, is a key aspect of its design. Its first stage is capable of returning to Earth through a series of maneuvers, either landing on a predetermined landing pad or touching down on a drone ship in the ocean. This reusability feature has made space launches more cost-effective and environmentally friendly. 
Falcon 9 Full Thrust, an upgraded version of the rocket, has an impressive track record with 198 successful launches as of April 2023. Taking things a step further, SpaceX developed the Falcon Heavy, a heavy lift launch vehicle known as the most potent operational rocket in the world. It consists of three Falcon 9 first stage boosters permanently linked together. Standing at 230 feet tall and 12 feet in diameter, the Falcon Heavy can lift significant payloads in orbit and beyond. Notably, its maiden flight in February 2018 gained global attention as it launched a Tesla Roadster into orbit as a marketing stunt. The Falcon Heavy's capabilities have been further demonstrated through successful commercial satellite deployments and its role in supporting SpaceX's ambitions for Mars colonization. SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft, another impressive innovation, has had a significant impact on space exploration. With a diameter of 13 feet and a height of 26.7 feet, it has a payload capacity of approximately 13,000 pounds and can carry up to 7 passengers. The Dragon spacecraft has successfully transported crew members to the ISS and played a crucial role in resupply missions. It is poised to contribute to future lunar and Mars missions, commercial space tourism, and potentially private journeys to the Moon and into orbit. The Dragon spacecraft has cemented its position as a key player in the private space sector. Now, let's explore SpaceX's most ambitious project yet, the Starship and Super Heavy. Designed for interplanetary travel, including eventual Mars colonization and moon exploration, the Starship and Super Heavy are intended to transport payloads and humans to these destinations. The Starship, SpaceX's flagship spacecraft, is poised to revolutionize space travel. When combined with the massive Super Heavy booster, it becomes the tallest rocket in the world, standing at an impressive 395 feet. The long-term goal of Starship is to make space travel as commonplace and accessible as air travel, opening new frontiers for humanity's exploration and scientific endeavors. Through their pioneering rockets and spacecraft, SpaceX has revolutionized the space industry. Their focus on reusable rockets, heavy lift capabilities, and cutting-edge designs has transformed the way we think about space exploration. As we eagerly anticipate the next phase of space travel, SpaceX continues to amaze and inspire us with their accomplishments and ambitious plans for the future. So, do you think SpaceX has become the unrivaled champion of space exploration, leaving Boeing in the dust? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.